I'm here at the Habanero stand with Daniel Long. Daniel, how are you? I'm good, good, thank you. Now tell me a little bit more about what you guys do and why you're so good at it. Okay, um, well, well, this is our first year at ICE. Habanero has just um, come out in a big way. We're debuting our products for the first time. Yeah, so uh, we make uh, slot machine games for both mobile and desktop. Why did you decide to come to ICE? It's your first year here at the show. What made you want to come along? Well, we've been building up our portfolio of games for the last few years. And we decided that you know, it's the time to showcase to the world our capabilities, our rich, uh, immersive graphics, our gameplay that's got unique user interface. Um, we, we think that we're unique and we can definitely meet a market segment that is currently not being fulfilled by the other suppliers right now. What have you got on the stand today? Why should people come over and visit you? Well, people should come over to visit me to find out what they're missing from the other suppliers. And what exactly is that? What makes you guys so good at what you do? Well, if you take a look at some of our games, um, you notice that there's unique user interface. It's very intuitive. The games uh, are very easy to understand. You know who are the, where the scatter symbols, um, what you've won, whether you're going to win. Um, and of course, um, it works on Flash. I don't know, it works on HTML5. I think I did that. <laughs> it works on HTML5. And um, it's for mobile, it's for desktop. Um, it's suited to custom, it's customized for different market segments. For example, we have Asian facing games, we have Western facing games. Um, it's definitely something for everyone around the world. This is one of our games that we call Ruffled Up. Um, it's quite a concept game, as you can see. It's a slot game, but the birds are not on the reel. It's not spinning, but you understand. So the birds fly away per spin. And if you, one of our showcase games that we're looking at right now, for, as I said about customization, is um, for the Chinese market, Far Tyson, which is a god of fortune. Far Tyson? Yes. <laughs> That's my Chinese. <laughs> Like it. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> You're supposed to say yes, it's brilliant. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> I couldn't tell you why. I'm, okay. I'm Chinese. <laughs> yeah, you're Chinese. Um, so it's a god of fortune, oh, which is this fella here. Yeah, it's got rich, immersive graphics. One of the things that we have that a lot of suppliers don't have is a unique game identifier. Every spin gives a different number. So if, if there's any technical outages or issues, um, the, the operator can easily identify which game went wrong. It's, it's easier for troubleshooting. One of the things that a lot of our competitors don't allow, they force you to play only on landscape. We play on both modes. So it's intuitive um, whether you want to play holding the phone in a, if you're on a train or you shouldn't play when you're driving, but with one hand it's possible. Don't play when you're driving. <laughs> or if you like a larger space, you can play it on the landscape mode. A lot of our competitors don't offer simple things like this. So we think about the user experience, we think about the user interface when we go design and make our games. Fantastic, Daniel. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. I hope you have a good show. Thank you. Look at this.